This video helps you navigate the City of Idaho Falls new customer self-service web portal. You'll need to register before you can access the portal. You can find information about that simple process here, along with links to the portal itself. Once you're registered, you're all set to explore. Once you're on the portal site, you need to log in using either your account number or email address and the password you created during registration. Once you've entered it, hit login. In this case, there are a number of accounts. It's a city account, so you need to pick which one you want. If you do have multiple accounts, we're going to go with this one. Upon login, you'll be taken to the account details page you see here. There's all sorts of information about your account. Financial information such as the current balance, bill due date, last payment made. You'll also see contact information here, primary phone number on the account, email and mailing address, and the address where service is provided. Beneath that, you can click on this hyperlink and then find more information about your energy consumption. So let's do that. In addition to this bar graph illustrating your monthly consumption over the previous year, you can drill down into each billing period over that span. So here you have the read date, which is the date the meter was read, the bill date, the number of days in that billing cycle, the actual meter read that was recorded, the total consumption for that billing period in kilowatt hours, and the average daily consumption also in kilowatt hours. At the top of this page is the menu. The first tab shows the page we just looked at, plus account transactions over the past 24 months and other links that allow you to update your phone, email, mailing address, change your password, enroll in paperless billing, and see a history of requests you've made using the portal. If you have multiple accounts, you can also click on that and go back to that screen and pick which account you'd like to look into. The second menu option at the top of the screen is the Payment Options tab. So click on that, and then the Pay Now link. And you'll be taken here. A secure site that allows you to handle your account payment in a couple of ways. You'll see the due date and the amount due and you can make a one-time payment by clicking here or you can sign up for auto pay by credit card by clicking here or here. You can also make a charitable donation or if you have a loan through IFP you can pay more than the required monthly amount using the pay my bill feature here. So just click on this add new button and follow the prompts there. So you see your utility bill payment, additional loan payment, charitable donation. You can also see your history of online payments and the My Wallet feature allows you to store credit card information for either auto pay or to save you time when making a one-time payment. And then the My Profile button provides basic information about the account holder. And then you have the logout. Getting back to the Payment Options tab, you can also sign up for auto pay via bank draft here. That's where the amount owed is automatically withdrawn from your bank account or you can sign up for budget billing, which is formerly known as level pay. The next menu item at the top of the screen is for utility requests. Here you can initiate the process of stopping, starting, or transferring service. You can also check your request history. Next to that is the contact us tab. Click on that and you can submit a request to the city. You could use this to let us know about a street light that's out, for example. So that's it. If you have any questions, comments, or problems finding your way around this site, you can contact us anytime at 612-8430 or via email at ifpinfo at ifpower.org. We hope this video helped. Thank you for watching.